So we got my tank in now. We got that tire done yesterday. And then uh, we pulled it in. We got that rear spout system off. I think my brother got a picture of it. I might post it or something in here. I don't know. Uh, but right now we're getting, that's where the hose connected to the old spout system. We got that cut off. We got a 90 cut there that we're gonna connect with the hosing just in case we ever have to take this off. It's gonna 90 here, then 90 back down. We're gonna build a square box here and then it's gonna have a tube coming down to the center of the tire and a tube coming down to that side. And it's gonna have two spouts. We'll take away all the hydraulics. So then I just gotta turn the PTO on and off and the only hydraulics needed is the steering and the brakes. So that'll make it a lot more convenient. We had one new 90 we got. I'm gonna have to use this old pipe. We're gonna cut it here and here off and we'll have to use that one more 90 to go under the box, but should be able to get her done. Then JC came back, skipped out on the rest of the other project and he's returned for the start of this one. We got this all made, the section. This is gonna go from there. Uh, gonna do that 90. Then we got the straight pipe that's gonna weld on. And then that 90 right here. So it's gonna come over and it's straight down and then we're gonna build a box in after. Casey's just grinding it up and he's gonna tack weld it together. And then we'll make the box from there. Once we get the all that tack weld, we'll know exactly where it's sitting. So we got the spout on there. It's only just tack welded. This bracket's not there, we're just seeing what would work, so. See if that would use the holder or something. Then uh, we'll have to take it back off after to finish welding. But right now we're making the box where the, that's gonna go in, where the manure's gonna fill in for the downspout. JC's cutting them right now. We got four sheets marked and then we'll have to mark one more after. So we got the spout all Finish welded, the 90 thing. We got our box made, it's like 16 inches by 12 by 12 wide. Uh, we got the whole cut in the top. It's not in the center because we want the box sitting out so we can get past this with our side angles. And then we, to hold it up there, since it's quarter inch steel and it's heavy as hell, we welded it to this steel right here, just tack welded it kind of, and we're gonna pick it up. And then the jack will hold it there. And then we'll weld it on. Then we'll make a bottom bracket, a support bracket to hold it. Then we can take the jack off and it'll be good. All right, we got JC welding up this box. The box is all welded together. We got that all done now. It's on there. He's welding a support bracket on at the bottom so that when it bounces, it don't uh, come off. Then once this is all done, we're gonna work on doing these side angle spouts. So well, hopefully we can get that done soon. As JC's working on that, Philip was painting that tank. He got that also done today. And then my brother Ferdy, we had to pull in our 60 XT case. Uh, on here, the fan housing bolt, these four, they, one of them snapped and then the rest kind of just unloosened. So he was replacing those. He had to use an easy out to get the snap one off, but we were lucky. It didn't actually break the radiator. It kind of hit a, where's it for the guard is? Where's the guard? Oh, right here, on the other side. It kind of hit the guard right here. And this is an old radiator off a different skid steer that we used to have. It has some dents in it, but it doesn't actually leak. And when it coming loose today, it actually didn't break it. So we're pretty happy about that. So he's getting this done. We're getting that done. And the vodka is actually pretty much 100% done now that we got it painted. But all that's left on this after is to get those Y spouts done. Just gonna be a little bit more welding for that support bracket now. What do you think? Arms. Point head, right? Jason. Lay in the beads. Hey, get out of here. Ah, no, we gotta show the bead. <laughs> Lay in the bead. We got a certified welder on our hands. Imagine. We're out here cutting off this old shit pile. We need some of these 45s to make our end spouts. And what better place to use it than off this old one? So we're kind of in the steel pile, but JC's cutting those off. 
if he figures out how to run the grinder. Keep locking it. <laughs> We got that on to act. That fancy spell. And, uh, we cut it all up and made it a 90 kind of thing. JC's working on that other 90 for that edge. And then I'm going to make a hoop ring thing that goes here and there. We're going to bolt it together to hold it still. And we got the Harrells back and Christoph's working on some valve kit stuff for the truck. We got the old dog. We got these plates cut up like this. These two squish plates. Um, we got the bolt holes cut. Kind of got to cut them a little bit bigger so that we had to do that so that we can swivel it just in case the overlapping, the second one is too much, we can turn it away and such. But now we got to take it off and finish weld it and then we'll have to torch it out some more. Somehow, we gotta make this look like this. Don't think that looks the same. What? So we gotta make this spout look like that spout. <laughs> look. So the first thing to do to make this one look like that one is uh, I cut it on this 45 degree angle right here. I'll use the uh, cutting disc. So it does a nice smooth cut and then after I got to do kind of like another 45 here that chunk will come right out and then this pipe will sit right on top and it'll pretty much make it a straight pipe and the reason I can't just cut this straight and that straight and connect it to is because it would just be it would just come out straight like this and I needed to come 90 degrees upward so that's why I got to cut two 45s and then turn the pipe to make it go uphill just like that one. And now the reason I want it like that is so that I have the ability to do that swivel. And if I would have just came out like this, I could have just turned the spout side to side, but I couldn't have turned the, the angle it was because the two spreaders are gonna kind of overlap right in the middle, but I kind of want to minimize that at the same time. And while I'm working on this, JC's trying to get the one spout on that box welded in, and then he's gonna weld those hook clamps on also. Getting the old spout put on. He's uh, doing this bottom weld now. I got that second piece cut out. Pretty much sits perfect on the first try. Professional. Getting her done. JC's getting the one side bolted. We got one side pretty much 100% done. Look at that beauty. Man. I feel like we should just leave the other hole. Let her spray out the stuff. Our little swivel system works. Frickin' mint. Hammering this pipe together now.
Got both rings done. We're just torching out the rest of these bolt hole bracket parts and then I'll weld it on there and the pipe that's down there and then we kind of stick it on. We got that, the second pipe tacked on right up top. We got our custom plates weld, JC welded the bottom and I'll tell you, look at them beads. I mean, I feel like this is factory made. Professional right there. What do you got anything to say with that? No, no. <laughs> when you're good, you're good. Exactly. <laughs> That's a good welder for you right there. Boom, check out She's tacked on. Little tack. Little tack. Now, before we weld this, probably should make sure we can spin this thing. Be a, a good thing to do. We failed. <laughs> he said we failed. <laughs> Round right two. Oh. Hey, you gotta hold it still. Okay. What do you want? Right there? Get your tape out of here. That's a, be nice. that's a nice tack right there. Putting the bolts on. JC got her all nice and welded. Freaking hell of a job we got done right here. All we got left is uh, get these four bolts on, put her to the proper angle of the dangle, give her a good old ugga dugga torque. <laughs> and <Couple extra. laughs> well, she's done. That's probably all the last of our supplies though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went and scavenged through the dirt for that. Yeah, he, he went through the that. hicks and the bushes for that. Yeah. We need to get some more bolts yeah. up here. Yeah, get them all in first. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I gotta make sure these are angled the same before we take. cow shit will seal that right up well that is a complete project we gotta throw some primer on it and we'll get paint on monday but i'd say that's it for this one uh thanks for watching this is uh jc and andreas's job right here <laughs> and you got Kristoff in the back working on the valve kit on that truck truck's back though but he has to put that valve kit on and then that thing's ready for the shit tank too so thanks for watching, till next time.